Okay, let us consider the question number 44, question requiring the limiting value involving sandwich theorem. Limit x approaching to 0 plus x multiplied with greatest integer of 1 by x plus greatest integer of 2 by x up to 15 terms. So, let us start this question. We can solve it using sandwich since we know that greatest integer of r by x, it lies between two terms that is r by x minus 1 and r by x. If I vary the values of r from 1 to 15, I can simply see summation r equals 1 to 15 greatest integer of r by x. It is lying between 120 by x here and 120 by x minus 15. So, this is clear. Next, if I multiply this term by x and take the limiting value when x is approaching to 0 plus, we can clearly see limit x approaching to 0 plus x multiplied with greatest integer of 1 by x plus greatest integer of 2 by x plus up to greatest integer of 15 by x, this is equal to 120. So, from the given options, we can see that is equal to 120, that is correct option is option 2. Right. Now, move to the next question. Okay, Let us go for the next question that is question number 45. The value of integral minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 sin square x divided by 1 plus 2 to the power x dx. So, solving as i equals minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 sin square x divided by 1 plus 2 x dx. If we apply f of a plus b minus x property, we can see here i becomes integral minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 sin square x divided by 1 plus 2 raised to the power minus x dx, which can be rewritten as 2 x divided by 2 x plus 1. Now, adding these two integrals, we obtain 2 i equals simply minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 sin square x dx or i equals integral 0 to pi by 2 sin square x dx, which is equal to applying pi by 2 multiplied with half that is pi by 4. So, from the given options, we can see the correct answer is option number 3. So, this point is clear. Let us write the answer. It is option 3. Now, moving to the next question.